SOLIDWORKS Routing has some fantastic new capabilities in 2015. Support for rectangular ductwork is the first feature we'll look at. Similar to routing for piping, you can sketch out routes, drag and drop fixtures like this T-junction, pick the desired configuration, and then continue to sketch out the path. You're able to add constraints to the route sketches, as well as align them to existing geometry, which greatly simplifies getting the duct positions correct. The ducting is not limited to two dimensions either. You're able to add ducting with vertical connectors as well. This really allows you to do detailed HVAC infrastructure for facilities and get the complete layout specified. As we finish the duct work, we have the ability to add features such as reducers, expanders and crosses. Route segment properties get automatically updated based on the configuration chosen, which carries down into the bill of materials to ensure that our inventory is up to date at all times with the model. In this case we're adding reducers to get the duct size correct for the outlet vents. So just another drag and drop, select desired reducer configurations and move on to the next duct. Notice that it automatically adjusts to the duct size needed. Snapping the ducting to the connection points completes the route for this section. And being parametric, it's easy to go back and adjust positions or size and have the changes propagate automatically, saving a large amount of time in detailing the ductwork. And of course, the ductwork is fully supported in drawings so that the full bill of materials for all components such as descriptions, quantities and segment links are available. So this saves you time and effort in detailing the infrastructure. The other key area added for routing is support for cable trays. In the past it has been challenging to incorporate these since they are open sections that are bent in various directions. The creation method is identical to rectangular ducting with the use of drag and drop and route sketching. SOLIDWORKS routing will automatically determine the appropriate bend components to use, in other words whether it's a horizontal bend, an internal vertical bend or an external vertical bend. We can constrain the route to geometry to ensure that when the geometry updates, the route will update accordingly to suit it as well, which again saves us having to go back and manually do modifications at a later date. We also have similar library components with T-junctions, crosses and reducers as well. Also note that as we sketch out the route in all three dimensions, it is intelligently adjusting the bend orientation of the corners as well as uh, aligning it to the appropriate plane so that we are not really restricted in the directions in which we can do the route. With a fully customizable routing library, it's very easy to adapt and incorporate a lot of the hardware that you may have such as hangers, clips and everything else to position your route and auto snap it to the appropriate points on your geometry as well. This is great for cable wireways or running the electrical lines for production equipment. So it's easy to get the details for the facility laid out. So detailing facility infrastructure is a lot easier now in SolidWorks 2015 routing.